Hey y'all and welcome back to class here at Move with Sable. Today we will be doing a modified version of my dynamic core flow workout. Dynamic meaning the opposite of static and that is one of my favorite ways to train core. If you're new to the channel, here is where you will find fun, functional fitness routines using my favorite methods. If you're curious about what the dynamic core flow workout looks like, check out the link to that video. For these exercises, I'm going to explain each one to you, demonstrate it, and then go through it for the full 30 seconds so that you'll have plenty of instruction, verbal and visual, to use this as a part of your regular workout routine. Let's get to the moves. Your first move is a plank position, knee lift and lower. So we're gonna take a modified plank position with hands underneath shoulders, knees in line with hips. You have a nice diagonal line and you're just gonna tug the toes, lifting and lowering at your own speed. So you kind of find that modified pose, find that full pose. I'm going to grab my timer and we're going to go for 30 seconds right here. Modified pose to full pose. Your second exercise is a bird dog, right arm, left leg reach. So we're gonna do bird dog twice. The first time we're only gonna focus on the right and left. Let me show you what I mean by that. You're gonna take your palms underneath shoulders, knees in line with hips to start. Extend your right arm and your left leg. And then set it back down. It's as easy as that. Here's 30 seconds of this. Your next exercise is a modified spider. So we're actually gonna find like a tabletop position, palms underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, and you kind of pull your knees to your elbows from that tabletop position, which looks like so. So knee to the outside and back. Knee to the outside and back. Try and keep your hips nice and level. I'm gonna go ahead and start the 30 seconds on this, pull one and then line back up. Now I mentioned that we were gonna do bird dog twice. So now we're gonna reach with our left arm and our right leg. So left arm is out, right leg is out and down. Here's 30 seconds of this move. For your next exercise, we are gonna to transition to face up. So go ahead and swing your legs around in the front. Leave your knees bent. We're gonna drop back to the forearms here. Let's scoot a little bit. We're gonna drop back to the forearms. Chin just about a softball distance away from your chest. And you're gonna roll your hips in and push out. This is called a pelvic tilt. So you're thinking about zipping up from your knees all the way up to your ribs. And then do it for 30 seconds.
your next move is pelvic tilt knee lifts. So you're still gonna be on the forearms back here, but we're gonna pull the knees in towards the chest one at a time. So find that forearm position, and you're gonna pull it up here. Keep, those, keep your abs pulled in tight here, so kind of anchor your belly button underneath your ribs. And then take your 30 seconds. Your last move is a half boat. So we're not gonna do the full boat pull. You're gonna work yourself into that by starting with this half boat option right here. So I want you to leave your legs out long, peel it on back, legs or arms are gonna go overhead, and then you just roll a little bit and back. So you're kind of tucking your chin under, rolling till your shoulder blades come up off the mat and roll back. And then do your 30 seconds. Press your low back into the floor on these. And take your time, keep your chin tucked. If you are new to exercise, if you're pre and postnatal, if you're returning to exercise after injury, this modified workout is a good option for you to get some activity in. If you like this and if you found it useful, go ahead and leave me a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can join me here for class more often.